Today we're talking about taking risks in life and also the three different types of people that uh, there are in the world when it comes to taking risks. So let's get started. Taking risks in life. So there are three types of people when it comes to taking risks in life. First of all, there is the type of people that are risk averse. Just the thought of taking any risks make them, I don't want to do it. They like to play it safe. So this is one group of people. And uh, we'll talk about that in a moment, what that means if you're right now risk averse. The second group of people are risk tolerant people, meaning that they can tolerate taking risks, that it is okay to take risks every now and then, and that they're quite comfortable with it. And then there's a third group, which are the risk seekers. They're actively seeking out risks. And those are the ones that are doing often crazy stunts or uh, just on the kick for risk and adrena adrenaline. Now, I'm not that crazy, but I want to say that I'm risk tolerant. I wasn't always risk tolerant. See, way back, uh, the, the way how I was raised was rather risk averse. So my dad, for example, uh, he went to school, he went to college. After college, he started a job at a steel factory in Germany, Kruppstahl, and uh, he kept this job for 35 years until he retired. So you could say that my, my dad was uh, risk averse, uh, not taking any risks in life, and this is how I was raised. And I did the same thing. So in the beginning, I was uh, going to college, right? Uh, then getting a job, working for IBM, climbing the corporate ladder, but I realized something really important. Being risk averse, not taking any risks means that, well, no risk, no reward. This is what they say, right? And, and I mean, it is true. In life, you have to take risks if you want to achieve something extraordinary. I do not know any millionaire or billionaire who did not take risks at some point in their life. But the important thing is you want to control the risk as much as you can, right? So as you know, when I was 33 in 2002, I left IBM, moved all the way from Germany to Austin in Texas to become a full-time trader. Now, was that risky? Yeah, absolutely, right? I mean, I left a very comfortable six-figure job to become a trader something that I knew very little about at this point, but I, I wanted to make a difference. I, I wanted to make a difference in my life. I didn't want to be a corporate drone anymore. And so I decided to take the risk. Now in the beginning, it was very challenging, but uh, it did pay out over time. I mean, these days I am a multimillionaire and I am enjoying my life. I no longer have a job. So, well, if you want to say that I'm working tomorrow when showing others how I trade, that's not work. That's fun. I'm doing it because I want to do it. Taking risks is important. I was trading and at some point I thought, you know what, I should probably learn something about real estate investing. And so I did. And I bought my first house. And uh, I think I made a lot of mistakes. But that's the important thing. When taking risks, be prepared to make mistakes, learn from these mistakes, and then avoid them going forward. Think about it financially. If you don't want to take any risks, if, if you want to park your money somewhere where it is safe or it's just earning interest rate, how much are you making these days? A percent, percent and a quarter, maybe even less. See, when you don't take any risks, there won't be any reward. <clears throat> On the other hand, is it possible to make money in the stock market? <laughs> I believe it is, right? And if you want to make 60%, 70%, 80%, then you have to take risks. So before we recap this, what, what are you? Leave, leave a comment below. And uh, if you could make a self-assessment and say, which of the following three are you? Are you risk averse, want to play it safe? Are you risk tolerant? And I, I would describe myself as risk tolerant. I'm okay taking risks. I'm actually quite comfortable taking risks. And the third category is a risk seeker. I mean, this is probably where you would uh, wrestle with uh, lions and where you would jump from high buildings and skydiving and all these kind of stuff. I, these are risk 
seekers, I'm not in that category. So for me personally, I am risk tolerant and I'm very comfortable. And this allowed me the, the lifestyle that I'm living these days. So taking risks in life, I believe is very important. You have to be comfortable taking risks when possible control the risks as much as possible. You won't be able to completely avoid the risk. But for example, when trading, as you know, I like to limit the amount of money that I risk on any given trade to a maximum of 2% of my account. And if you wanna learn more about this, there's plenty of videos right here on Facebook or on YouTube, depending on uh, where you're watching it where you learn more about the way how I trade. If you really want to meet in person and uh, let us show you what exactly I do, then uh, join us in one of our upcoming boot camps. Simply go to bootcamp.rockwelltrading.com where I show you exactly um, what I trade, when I enter a trade, and also when I exit a trade. And when exiting the trade with a profit or with a loss. So as part of these boot camps, I'll show you exactly how to limit your risks. Let me know in the comments, what are you? Are you risk averse? Are you risk tolerant like I am? Or are you a risk seeker? Hope this helps. Feel free to share this video with anybody who might find this helpful. And I hope that uh, one day we meet in person. Again, if you want to meet in person, go to bootcamp.rockwelltrading.com and see if you're coming to a city near you, because we are coming to many cities across the US in the next few weeks and months. Talk to you soon. Click on like and leave a comment and let me know what you think. And make sure to subscribe to this channel to get new videos automatically.